Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. In this lesson we're going to be reading an article about getting a pet. So our best friend, would you say that you are a dog person or a cat person? And what is the difference between a pet and a farm animal? And which are which? A parrot? Would that be considered a pet or a farm animal? About a water buffalo, a tortoise, a sheep, or a chicken? Well, usually animals like sheep and chickens and water buffalo would be considered farm animals because you can get uh, eggs and uh, meat for, from a chicken and wool and meat from uh, sheep and water buffalo are used to pull heavy things but animals like parrots and tortoises they're just for a person's enjoyment so they don't really have a job to do so they would be considered um, a pet and what are some common pets in your country what is the most popular pet in your country or city do most families have a pet? And do people keep their pets inside or outside? And pets are a responsibility. You need to look after or care for a pet. So you need to think about where do they sleep? What do they eat? Do you need to exercise the animals? And what other needs do they have? So cats and dogs are the norm, but some people have unusual or exotic pets. Things like a lizard, a kangaroo, a capybara, or a scorpion. So James owns a pet store, and what do you think of his opinions? You can either pause the video and read on your own, or follow along as I read. Today, people don't think enough about the animal. Before you get a pet, you have to think about where it will live, what it will eat, and how much time you need to look after it. People love baby animals because they are cute. Kittens and puppies are beautiful, but they are not a pair of shoes. A pet is not for fashion, it is for life. I ask a lot of questions to people before they buy a pet. Sometimes I tell them to come back to the shop in a month or so. A lot of parents want to make their children happy, but they have no idea how to care for an animal. All right here are some vocabulary words. Adopt, take another person's child or an animal into your own family. Be kidding means to be joking or not be serious. Awesome is an informal way of saying great or excellent. So two roommates, Lena and Irina, are thinking about getting a pet. Well, what about a monkey? I saw a TV program the other day about a family who adopted a monkey. He was great and lots of fun. You have to buy a lot of bananas, though. You're kidding, right? A monkey? Yeah, I guess so. It would be fun, though. Seriously, I think we should get a dog. I had a dog when I was a child. His name was Bruno, and he was awesome. So what do you think about Lena and Arena's conversation? So what's the first pet that Lena suggests? What does Arena think about Lena's idea and what words show you this? What pet did Lena have as a child? And in your opinion, is this the first time that Lena and Arena have talked about this subject? Well, the first pet that Lena suggests is a monkey. Uh, Arena is surprised and she thinks that Lena isn't serious and she asks if she's kidding. Uh, Lena as a child had a dog named Bruno and it's possibly the first time that they've talked about this. Uh, it seems very informal. Right, out of the question, not practical or not likely nowhere in no place, backyard, the garden area behind a house, 
Spend a fortune means to spend a lot of money. Affectionate means loving and caring. Unfortunately, I think a dog is out of the question too. The apartment is nowhere near big enough and dogs need space. You have to take them for a walk every day. We are both out all day and we just don't have enough time. Yes, maybe you're right. We had a huge backyard when I was growing up. Dogs eat a lot too. My dad used to complain that we spent a fortune on dog food. What about a cat? Cats are more independent, so you don't have to spend so much time with them. You just have to feed them, and then they look after themselves. They are really smart, too, and affectionate. So in your opinion, what other pets would be out of the question in a small apartment? So maybe things like horses or larger, sometimes larger animals. Uh, what words does Lena use to mean the area behind the house? She said the backyard. How does Lena explain that it was expensive to te keep a dog? She talked about how much money they had to spend on dog food. And which word means able to look after yourself? That's independent. And do you agree that cats are more affectionate than dogs? Again, that's just an opinion question. Okay, fussy eater. Someone who only eats certain things and dislikes many foods. That's true. My aunt has a cat and he's very friendly. His name is Tom. He's a fussy eater though. He only eats chicken and fish. He hates cat food. So my aunt has to prepare his food every day. Oh, and he gets cat hair everywhere, so she has to clean up after him. Hmm. So how does each image relate to the conversation between Lena and Irina? Well, they talk about getting a cat. Uh, she talked about having a big backyard when she was a child when they had a dog talks about how much money it costs to feed a dog. And one of the first suggestions that Lena made uh, for a pet that they should get was a monkey. So for each pet, some, provide some advice for a would-be owner. Would it be expensive? Would you need a lot of space? And does it require a lot of care? So a spider, a snake, um, a, this is like a rat or a mouse, and fish. So think about each of these and answer the questions. All right, so imagine that you work in a pet school store and people come to buy these pets. What question would you ask to make sure that they can care for these animals? So you can think about that, write down some questions for each of the animals. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you have any questions, please write those in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.